Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video I'm gonna show you guys uh, how to install the operating system for your PlayStation 4 consoles and I made another lots of videos on how you upgrade the hard drive if your hard drive is failing or you want to upgrade the hard drive to an SSD solid state drive uh, I made videos on that so how you can improve the performance for your console by removing an SSD drive or you want to put a bigger capacity of mechanical drive um, and in this video I'm just going to cover it up how to open it up and how to replace the hard drive quickly and how to install the drive and to do this process you need either the SSD drive and you need the mechanical drive in this case the client wants to go with another mechanical drive one terabyte because the one that it comes in here is already failing so pretty much what the tools that you're going to be needing it's a USB thumb drive so I suggest you guys grab a 16 gig or 8 gig at least I have a Samsung 32 gig right here USB 3 so I'm going to leave the link in the description for where you can download the operating system for this PlayStation 4 and just click on the link and download the file let me go back to my computer and I'm going to show you guys. All right. So what do you want to do? You want to plug in your USB thumb drive. And then you want to go to my computer and you want to find your thumb drive and you want to right click and click format. And you have to make sure it says FAT32 default. So make sure it's FAT32 default. The volume name, you can put whatever you want. You can put a PS4. PS4 and then you're gonna click start and this is gonna erase everything inside the drive and it's gonna be all empty so what you want to do first you want to create a new folder and with a capital letters um, with the caps on you want to type in PS4 make sure caps is on so and then inside that you want to create another folder which is gonna be called update with all capital letters all right so you're going to create update folder and then inside this folder you're going to place the file that you're going to be downloading in this case i already downloaded is this file right here it says ps4update.pup make sure it has this name and then you want to copy this you want to go to the dumb drive inside this one ps4 folder inside the update folder you want to copy it and paste it right in here so let this one finish all right once the transfer is finished you want to eject the USB don't pull it out just eject the safest way now you want to head back to your PlayStation now that we are here we have the thumb drive with every, all the files inside we're going to place this hard drive in here to place the hard drive, you want to put the, uh, the console to one side, lift up the hard drive cover just by pulling it up and removing the cover. And there's going to be a, a screw on this side, so you want to remove this tiny screw. This is a Phillips uh, zero. So grab your screwdriver set. I use the iFixit tool set. So Phillips number zero, and go ahead and remove this screw right here. Now what you want to do, you want to slide out the hard drive from here, just pull it out. You can skip this part if your hard drive is already fine, is not damaged. You can go, you want to remove the four screws on the caddy that hold the hard drive in place. Now it's very important the way that you remove this one in the same way the other one has to go in because of the coordination for the SATA connectors and the one in here has to be the same so you don't put this one upside down otherwise it's not going to go in. So grab the old one, place the new one here and make sure align the holes for the screws and place the screws on the caddy. Make sure it holds down the hard drive in place. Put it by hand, it's easy a little bit. 
right, once you have the new drive in here, you want to push it right in, in the same place that you removed. Make sure it goes all the way in. Okay. And then put the side screw to hold the caddy in place. There we go. Grab the cover. Slide the cover right in there. Plug in the HDMI cable at the back. And the power cable. Plug in the power cable at the back. Plug in your controller via USB to the middle one. Push the USB thumb drive to the far right side port. I'm gonna use my external screen. Hopefully you guys can see it, turn it on. Now what you wanna do here, you wanna hold down the power button and until you hear the second beep. Once you hear the second beep, you wanna release the power button. So one, and second beep. Then you're gonna release the power button. Now it should take us to the safe mode. Here it says connect the, via USB. Okay, it's connected and press the PS button. So we're gonna press it. And it says restart and we're gonna go choose Reinstall software. So we're gonna reinstall the software. That's number seven. Press X. And connect a USB drive. Okay. And then click accept. And now you have to wait. It says waiting. So it's gonna take about 10 to 15 minutes. It's gonna read off the USB. It's gonna install it. It might restart once or twice. So Let's leave it like that. I don't know if you guys can see it. So you put the camera. Let's see if I turn off the light on the top. It's much better right now. Okay, it says that everything is gonna. This is in Spanish, so it's gonna say that everything is gonna be erased. Okay, now it's, uh, it says do not turn off the PlayStation. So it's going 50, 54, 60 sec. So let it finish. So now it's updating. So pretty much it's really simple and forward right now. So all you need to do is just be wait. Once it's finished, it's gonna ask you for the region and all the username and everything. You're gonna set like brand new console you bought. Very good. It says please wait. So make sure you do not turn off the console while it's doing this. Otherwise, you'll be in a trouble. You might have to redo the whole thing. So he's updating the installation file. All right, now he's gonna do the last restart. It might stay in a black screen, don't touch it, let it be. It might take about five to 10, 20 seconds on a black screen, but that's normal. And it's gonna keep continuing with an update. All right, now it restarted and now we have the PS4 logo right in front. And from here on, it should be really easy. And I hope, and pretty much the instruction is like uh, when you buy a new console, the same instructions shows up right now as you pretty much bought the new one. I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, leave them in the comment area and I will try to help. And thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.